Hi everyone, uh, this is Kishore from appsdba.info. Uh, in the previous session, we have applied all the uh, patches on our middle tier using the ETCC patch, and you have seen that uh, they were, there are no more patches to be applied. So, the next section is uh, uh, applying the online patching. Uh, this will take a couple of time, but before that, uh, we need to apply the latest Oracle eBusiness Suite uh, online readiness GSS uh, report patch, which is 31026. So what I do is I will copy the AD grants, first I need to run the AD grants, then I need to apply the patch. So I already copied the AD grants to the database tier and from the uh, database tier let me apply the AD grants. Right, so it is in progress. So if you get any errors like this, what is shown on the screen, you can ignore it based on this particular document and after that you can apply this patch. We shall wait. Yeah, so you get some warnings so you can easily ignore them uh, as per that particular documentation but now you can apply this patch. Let me pause the session. So in the meantime, let me go through this online patching readiness report. So there are a couple of steps. First, you need to run this particular file adzd uh, fix.sql file uh, following the usage instructions provided in it. And now you after that you run this, which will identify if there are any corruptions. So then you know if if, if no corruptions is found, then you can proceed with the upgrade. If corruptions is still there, you need to follow the you know uh, step two. At couple of places I had found some logical data dictionary corruptions. So for that I have I have forwarded some steps. Uh, only if you have the issues, only if there are issues you need to do that. Otherwise you really don't need to uh, do that. Let us check the patch status. So patch is applied. So now what I'll do is so uh, yeah, so we will run this. So this will take uh, Okay, it is. Uh, yeah, we are run this, and then we'll run the the next one to identify the issues. So this will take a pretty good time. It will uh, give us a complete, uh, a detailed report. You have to go through each of them and fix them each of them. Uh, the script is executed and uh, you need to go through all of this so uh, individually but in my case I didn't add any uh, logical corruptions so I can proceed with the uh, next steps uh, that is I will create a folder and create some uh, readiness reports by you know running this particular scripts I'll move this as a preparation steps and I can uh, refer uh, refer later. I have uh, ran the scripts and you can always go through them and uh, you know verify uh, if, if there are any things to be taken care. And after that you can run this script and uh, select the third option. Yeah, and verify for yeah, and and enter the uh, yeah the third option. So it will basically tells us uh, you know what are the table spaces which requires uh, more space. I've already taken care uh, by adding uh, the system table space for 25 GB and uh, apps TST for 20 GB, and uh, yeah by adding this particular scripts. So now I think we have sufficient uh, space, so we don't need to uh, worry. I have created the table space in the. Thing. Okay, so after creating the table spaces, if not, you have to create the table spaces. After that, there is some invalid issue issue. 
so invalid uh, issue with one of the thing which we need to fix it before we can run the so there is one invalid and for this we have a solution which is there in the support also so for that what we need to do there is this is the document you can connect as the database user see uh, the packages are not there so what we need to do is we need to run these two scripts and then you can enable the package see the package is altered so this is the main package before without making this uh, package uh, valid don't run the online patching so now we are all set for applying the things there is one script which uh, which has been told to run so we'll run that on also yeah so now we are all uh, set for applying the online patch so what i'll do i'll just go through all the services are down so what i'll do i'll apply this patch in the vnc session to be safer side because it takes pretty good time Okay, looks like the patch is missing. Right, this is the correct path. correct so there you go so the patch is getting applied so once it is completed uh, we'll come back this will take a pretty good time at least three four hours it will take so we'll catch up after once the patch is uh, been applied thank you for watching oh, one error which I am, uh, I've just watched and if you see that there is some insufficient privileges I issue uh, earlier so for that I need to again run the AD grads so why not we do that So I run the AD grants and now what I do is I go to AD controller and I will restart the failed job by like this. So once I do this, so this should start. So the patch is uh, successfully applied uh, and I have verified that the patch is applied. 
so of course even though you what you can do you can also verify by running this particular command right see right uh, so maybe clean up not executed but remaining everything is executed so we are fine and uh, I'm just trying to compare right if you see this upgrade MU successfully executed and here also successfully executed so I think we should be fine with it and you know if you see that ADOP it will be start working with you know which phase and everything is asking so ADOP is successfully applied so okay so that uh, I think that's not what we have now so we'll catch up with some other interesting topic in the next session thank you for watching